Okay, we're gonna get going. I will show you uh, options as we go through. If you wanna take a higher impact or lower impact, you work as hard as you wanna work. And again, I will be with the beat. It is not a big deal if you are not. Okay. Right shoulder forward, jab and hold. Jab, hold. So this is your basic jab. Left guard stays up, right arm reaches out. Go ahead, stay here another set. I gotta turn it up. Keep going. Jab, hold. Now make sure you're kind of rotating through the shoulders, extend. Four, three, two, now left arm, cross and hold, cross, hold. So your cross, it's called a cross because it crosses your body. This should be your most powerful punch. You're putting all your weight behind it. Make sure you turn the hip, pick up that back foot. One more set, eight. Now whatever hand isn't punching, you keep that guard up close to your face. Three more. Next up, bob weave, left to right, left, right. Now start to turn it, keep your guard up. You're gonna bring your left side forward. Eight, seven, four, three, left arm. Jab and hold, jab, hold. So we're gonna do two sets of these, because we have two sets on the right. Extend that punch. Now when you jab, you're looking out over across the top of the knuckles, arms all the way out. Showing you from the side. Make sure you're not punching like this. You're not opening the elbow. You're pushing the elbow from the rim. Ready, right arm, cross and hold. Cross, hold. Again, all the power comes from the hips. Turn your body, turn it back. Pick up that back foot. Give me eight more. Two sets here. Four more. Three. Two. Bob Weave, right to left. Right, left. Now turn to the front. So in a front facing stance, your feet are wide. Guard up. You're ducking under a punch here. Use your legs. We're gonna hook right and left. Right left. So as always, your hook looks about like this, 90 degrees or so, but it's here. You're hitting across the side of the face. Four, three, uppercut, under the chin, up. Uppercut, stop here, it's a short, sharp punch. Eight, seven, four, three, pull your knees right and left. Four. So lower body, starting with knees. Keep your shoulders back, chest up tall. Act like you're breaking a board over your knee. Four, three, guard up. Front push kick, push, push. We're gonna do two sets of these. Push kicks aren't about height, they're about power. You come up, you push out, you bring it in, back down really quick, push. So you're not just kind of flicking the foot, flex your foot, push something away. Eight, seven, four, three, tap, chamber. So we're prepping for a side push kick. This move is called chamber. You're lifting the leg up, shin almost parallel to the floor. Now, extend your kick. These kicks also do not have to be high. We're gonna do two sets here. If your kick is down here, closer to the shins, that's fine. Push, push. Make sure you turn your base leg out so your toes facing away. You lift up, you push out, you bring it in, back down. Four, three, two, squat down and up. Okay, we warm up kicks on the other lead, then you're done with your warm up. Four, three, two, now tap, chamber. Another thing you might notice, I'm moving my guard. I always say your guard should look kind of like a W, right? Move your guard over the leg that's working. Now, extend your kick. 
So your guard is kind of a counterbalance. I extend the arms out when I kick because it helps me balance, helps me keep my chest up. Get back on the beat. Give me one more set, make it two sets. Again, this toe turns out. You come up, you extend out, you bring it in. Back down, two more. Squat down and up. Okay, done with the warm up. It's the same every time. Now we're gonna start to build patterns. We have two patterns. We'll do a right lead, then left lead. Ready, jab to the front. Okay, front facing jab. When we warmed up, we did the fight stance, the side facing jab. Now I want you squared up. Your feet are wide. Use your legs a little more. So you're still aiming for your nose. Extend all the way out. You should be looking across the end of the knuckles. Now, hook. Okay, when you hook, turn your hips. I always tell people, you should turn so much that if you were looking in the mirror, you would see the back of your shoulder in the mirror. Back to your jabs. Go. Give me eight more singles. Eight, seven. Now we're gonna change it. Double on each side. Double, switch. Now option one. You can stick with double jab. It's just a little easier to remember. Option two, jab, hook, jab, hook, on the same side. Notice, turn the hip. It's a little turn, and then a big turn. Little, big. One more set. Four, three, two, now. Uppercuts, uppercuts. Start with singles. Go ahead and make these a double uppercut. Double, double. So when you uppercut, you're using your legs, getting under that punch, and you're kind of pushing your hip forward when you extend. Back to the top. Jab, hook, same lead. Jab, hook. It's gonna take a little longer to break this down on the right lead. When we go to the left, we won't have to break all this down. Listen, jab, hook, double upper. Jab, hook, double upper. Jab, hook, double upper. Now, like I said, if this is too many punches to think about, you can simplify it by doing a double jab and a double upper. If that's easier, do that. Otherwise, jab and hook, double upper. One more set. Now make your second uppercut a little bit bigger. Little bigger. Give me one more, one more. Squat down and up. Okay, that's a lot of punching to think about. Now we're gonna add some legs. Four, when you're ready. Squat and push kick. Squat, push. Squat, push, push. Now remember, kicks don't have to be high. I'd like you to think about when you kick, move your guard just a little bit so you're framing the leg. That means it's gonna shift a little bit. To the right, to the left, one more set. So you should feel your heart rate coming up. We're using your legs, we're using big muscles. From the top, one jab, one hook. Double upper. Do that again. Ready, squat. Front push, right leg first. Jab and hook, double upper. Do it again. Squat, front push. Come on, put some power behind that kick. You have the time. Squat and hook, go. 
Double upper. Now, squat and kick. Let me say it right. Jab and hook. Double upper. Squat and kick. Here's our pattern. Jab, hook, upper. Squat and kick. Jab, hook. Double upper. Squat and kick. Four more. Jab, hook. Double upper. Squat and kick. Jab and hook. Double upper. Squat and kick. Jab, hook. Squat and kick. You're almost done. Jab and hook. Double upper. Squat down and kick. Keep your squat going. A little easier. Okay. Quick break. Keep going. Your first hit. In this class, we do a 45 second hit. I give you one simple move. You work it as hard as you can. This hit is low impact. We're going to do that squat and kick again. Faster and a little bit, a little bit more depth in your squat to get your heart rate up. I'm going to show you from the side. Right leg. Kick. No jumping. Just squatting and kicking. Stay on the same leg. This leg is not going to move. It's going to get really tired from holding you up. That's it. 45 seconds. Let's go. Down. Push. Down. Push. See how I'm moving faster than the beat? Goal here. Get your heart rate up. Make this leg really tired because it's stabilizing you and holding you up the whole time. Don't forget, keep your guard up. Frame the leg that's kicking. If you want to take it a little bit easier, just don't squat as low and kick a little bit lower. If you want to make it harder, wider squat. Get some depth. Come on, keep your head and chest up. You got like five seconds, that's it. Done. Little Bob Lee. The goal of the head is just it's a little extra push to get your heart rate up, make you really out of breath. Then we get 30 seconds to recover. Again, make sure you have water. Okay, all that we have to do on the left knee. Ready, set. 30 seconds is up. Start here. Left, right. Go ahead and double it. Now, like I said, we're not going to break this down nearly as much as we did on the other side. Little change. Jab, hook, jab, hook. Now, remember, turn your hip a little, turn it big. Little, big. Ready? Go ahead, give me some double uppercuts. Go right into the doubles. Practice. Make it little, then bigger. Little, bigger. Jab and hook. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get ready for that change. Jab, hook. Double upper. Up, up. Jab, hook. Double upper cut. Jab, hook. Little, bigger. Jab, hook. Little, bigger. Now remember, if it's too much to think about, too many different punches, you can stick with double jabs. A little bit less complicated, a little less to think about. This is totally fine. Otherwise, Get in that hook. Jab. Hook. Upper. Upper. Jab. Hook. Up. Up. Give me one more set that we add on. Jab. Hook. Double uppercut. Remember. Little. Then bigger. Okay. Squat down and up. Okay, this time. Instead of kicking to the front, we're going to kick to the back corners. There we 
we go. I got off the beat. You're gonna start with your left leg. You're gonna kick to the back corner. Down, push kick, down, push kick, squat. Back corner, squat, back corner. Now notice, I am moving my guard. So this back push kick, it's really just a side kick, except it's going to the back. Keep going. Down, back, down, back. It feels a little more awkward than the push kick. It takes a little more effort. Ready. Jab and hook. From the top. Go again. Jab, hook, squat. Back push to the corner. Left. Right. Jab, hook. Double upper. Do that again. Squat. Back corner kick. Jab and hook. Double up. Again. Squat, back push kick. Look back behind you. Let's cut this in half. Jab and hook. Double upper. Squat, back push. Jab, hook. Double upper. Squat, back push. Jab and hook. Double upper. Squat back push. Guard up, guard up. Jab hook. Double upper. Squat back push. One more time. Jab hook. Double upper. Squat push back. Jab hook. Double upper. Squat back push. Two more times. Go. Take it to the back. Jab, hook, double upper, squat, push back, squat down and up, quick break, quick break, second hip, we're going to do the same thing, you're just going to keep with the opposite leg, we're kicking forward, easier is a lower squat and a lower kick, more difficult, wider stance, deeper squat, and a higher, more forceful kick, 45 seconds, hard as you can go, Time starts. Now, down, push. So now your left leg is kicking, your right leg is the base. This leg should get tired. Remember, you can make them a little smaller if you need to catch your breath. Otherwise, get down. Think a little bit more about speed here. Keep your chest up. Down, push, down. Push. If you keep your hands here, it kind of forces you to keep your head and chest up. Almost there, almost there. Rest, 30 seconds. Do what you gotta do. Just make sure you're still moving or resting. Your heart rate should be really high. That's why I like to do a little bob and weave. You can do a little step touch. You can keep doing some little squats down and up. Just keep moving. Get your breath. Then get a quick drink of water. Two patterns down, two to go. All right, next one. Make sure you've got enough room side to side that you're not gonna hit anything. Right arm, jab right. So, by the way, this is low impact. I'm kind of staying ground into the floor. If you want, you could be up in a boxer shuffle with your jab. It's gonna take a lot more effort. It's gonna get your heart rate up faster. I'm gonna stay mostly down here. Three, two, one, side push. Three, two, one, side push. Three, two, one, side push kick. Three, two, one, side push. Remember, you can be here. Now, when you move this leg in, make sure you're turning this toe away from your body. 
Keep going. Three, two, one. Kick. Three, two, one. Kick. Two more. We're going to add on to this. It's a new move. Start with a wide stance right here. Forward, back. Left leg doesn't move. Right leg steps forward, back. You're keeping that really wide stance. If you can see, I've got two pieces of tape on the floor. Really wide. This is what I want you to look like. Okay? So make sure you're not stepping back like this. Stay wide, get down low. Forward, back. Now take your arms, pick it up, throw it down. This move is called Capoeira. It's taken from Turbo Kick, specific, specific kickboxing format I've taught for 10 plus years, based on Brazilian martial arts. Pick it up, throw it down. Now, once you're comfortable with this movement, exaggerate it. Make it a little bigger. This twisting is working your midsection. Pick it up, throw it down. Come on, use your legs, get low. Four, three, this is called Capoeira. From the top, triple jab, right. Side push kick, go again. Three, two, one, kick. Three, two, one, one more. Ready, Capoeira, pick it up. Pick it up, throw it down. Left leg doesn't move. I always say when you throw, exhale really loudly. Triple jab from the top. Side push kick. Go again. Capoeira. Pick it up. Throw it down. From the top again. Triple jab. Side push kick. Go again. Capoeira. We are just going to cut this in half. Ready. Triple jab, side push. One time. Capoeira twice. Triple jab, side push. Capoeira twice. Triple jab, go. Capoeira. Triple jab. If you're getting really out of breath, you're here. Capoeira. Four more times. Triple jab. Capoeira. Triple jab. Capoeira two times. Almost there. Triple jab. One kick. Capoeira. Last one. Triple jab. Capoeira. Bob Wee, Bob Wee. Quick break. Your next hit. We're gonna reach low to the right, like you're picking something off the floor. Pick it up, bring it in, throw it up in the air. Kind of like you're picking up basketball. Lunge, pick it up, and shoot it. If you don't want to jump, then give me a calf raise and focus on really getting low when you lunge. That's it. 45 seconds. Let's go. Pick it up, shoot, pick it up. Shoot, we're only going to the right side. Don't worry about the beat. Now, when you're reaching, when you're lunging, I still want you to make sure that you're lunging properly. Knees about 90 degrees. Now, you are leaning forward because you're picking something up. Don't let your head drop below the heart. In other words, don't do this. You're here, butt down, head up. Pick it up, shoot it. And again, if you don't want to jump, you come up on the toes. Five seconds. Done. 30 seconds, recover. There we go, back on the beat. Get some water. Towel yourself off. We do all that on the left, and you're done with the hard stuff. I am warm now. Okay, get your left arm ready. There it is. Left arm, four, 
Three. Jab to the left. Now remember, you can be here. Just as low impact, no jumping. This is where I'm going to be most of the time. Make sure you're extending that punch out. Although, if you want, you can be up in that boxer shuffle. Just remember your jab. Starts in close, elbows in. Extend, bring it back in. Three jabs, side push, ready. Three, two, one, side push. Three, two, one, side push. Now I think we did three sets on the right, so give me two more sets here. Three, two, one, push. Now remember, when you bring this foot in, make sure this toe is turned away from your body. One more set. Three, two, one, kick. Two more. One more. We got that capoeira. Left foot steps back, forward, back. Start here. So again, I'm gonna try to get my feet just on the inside of these lines. I want you really, really wide. Now, right leg doesn't move, big step. Again, this foot is not gonna step back behind like a lunge. Keep it wide, bend your knees, forward, back. Now, take your arms, pick it up, throw it down. Pick it up left, throw down on the right. What is this move called? Cabaletta. We're gonna stay here a couple more sets. Get used to it, get comfortable with it. So, it should feel a little awkward if you've never done it before. There's a lot of things going on at once, but when you get more comfortable with it, make it bigger. Give me a little drama with it. You're mad, pick it up, throw it down like you mean it. Throw on the top, jab left three times, go. Side push kick. Three more. Two more. Last one. Ready. Capoeira on the left. Take it up. Throw it down. You can tell this is one of my favorite moves from Turbo Kick. I think it's a lot of fun. From the top. Jab three times. Left. Triple. One more time. Throw it down. Triple jab. Left. One more. Capoeira, pick it up, pick it up. We're going to do that one more time. Then we cut it in half. Triple jab. Go. One more. Option right here. Capoeira. If you're out of breath, Make this move a little bit smaller. Cut this in half. Triple jab, one time. Tackle at it twice. Triple jab. Tackle at it twice. Triple jab. Almost there. Kappa. Triple jab. Side push kick. Tackle at Let's go four more times. You're done with this. Two more. Capoeira. Triple. Three more times. Capoeira. Last two, last two. Triple. Capoeira. Last one, triple. Capoeira. Bob and weave. All right, real quick break. We do that lunge and shoot on the other lead. So now, left side, reach low lunge, bring it to the middle, and shoot it. If you don't want to jump, then you just give me a calf raise. 45 seconds, you are done with the hard stuff. Ready, go. Lunge, shoot it in the middle. Now again, when you lunge, make sure you just keep your head above the heart. Hey, even if you don't want to go down quite as slow, you could be here, right? Just not lunging as slow. 
Just keep your chest up. Make sure you're not doing this. Bend your knees. Get down low. You got 15 seconds. Lunge. Shoot. Modification. No jump, but a cap raise. And done. 30 seconds. Bob Weave. Catch your breath. Hard part's over. You should be really, really out of breath. We take about 30 seconds here. You can bob weave like me. You can step touch. You can walk around just as long as you're still moving. So to continue to bring your heart rate down, there's your 30 seconds. I always finish my class with just a little bit of standing work. We usually work on some form of knees or kicks that will help work your abs and also your butt. So if you want to use a chair, now's the time to get it out. The chair is totally optional. So I'm gonna start without it first. So we're gonna practice crescent knees, which I'm going to put into my class next week. So first off, you want your left toe turned out just a little bit. It's not forward, it's about to the corner. If you were on a clock, think like 10 to 11 o'clock over here. Now, we're gonna take this slow. The knee comes up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is your crescent knee. Keep going. If you've got a chair, you're just holding on to it for balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now take this leg to the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now turn my toe a little more to the corner, not quite to the side. This is a curtsy lunge. Your foot is coming behind you and crossing on the other side of the ankle. Both knees are been about 90 degrees if you were looking to the side in the mirror. Let's put it together. Ready. One crescent knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up. Now bring it back. So again, if you're holding onto the chair, it's just to help you a little bit with balance. Bring it back. Chair is optional. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lunge it back. Let's go two more on this leg. Up. Bring it back. So you should be feeling it right here. Okay, this leg is stabilizing. It's holding us up. It hasn't moved. Done with that leg. Shake it out. We're gonna switch legs. If you've got a chair, just move it to the other side. Press the knees only. Turn this toe out just a little. Circle around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This side always feels a little more difficult to me. Keep going. So like I said, I'm gonna put these in our class next week. So we're just practicing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hertzy lunge. Take this leg to the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Without the chair, you just bring your arms to the middle. One more set here. Now again, I've got the toe turned out just a little bit. If your toe is really turned out, go ahead and move it closer to the front. From the top, one crescent knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now lunge. Go again. Now lunge. Go again. Option. Lunge. Keep your chest up when you lunge. And lunge. You got two more. We are done with this. Crescent knee up. And lunge. You should be feeling it here. One more. 
And lunge. Shake it out, shake it out. Hard stuff is over. Take your feet wide. Big inhale up. Exhale down. And again. Exhale down. Hands on the knees. Slide them down. Hold. While you're here, drop one shoulder. And look to the side of the wall. Then come on up. Switch. Other side. Bring these down a little bit more. Now, kind of bring it back to center. Turn both your toes to face forward. Grab the inside of your thigh, around your back, tuck your chin, hold. So make sure you're not way down here. Your heart rate might still be high, so keep your head higher than your heart so your stretch looks more like this and not so much like this. Release, round it up, roll the shoulders back. If you need help with balance, you can hold onto your chair, to the wall, anything that's not moving. Quad stretch first, kick one foot back. Hold onto that foot back here from the front. You want your knees together. So none of this, no chambering. Knees together so you feel it in your quadricep. Hip stretch. Release, cross the ankle over the knee. Have a seat. So you should feel this because we literally just worked this muscle with all the crescent knees and those crescent lunges. Curtsy lunges, bowler lunges, crossover lunges. I've heard them called four different things. If you need help with balance, feel free. Also, my leg tends to slip off of my pants, so I like to hold it in place. Come on up, hamstring stretch. When you do the stretch, keep your head above your heart. You set one foot down, heel down, toe up, leg is straight. Push your butt back, keeping your head up. I like to hold on to something. It will force you to keep your head up so that you're not collapsing over the stretch. If you don't have anything to hold on to, make sure you're keeping your hands up high and that you're not pushing down on the knee. Exhale, toe down. Come on up, bring that same foot behind you. Press that heel down. So back leg is straight, pushing the heel down. For a really, really good stretch, I like to push back against something. It gives me a little more leverage to really push my heel into the floor and get a really good calf stretch. Release. Same stretches, other lead. Balance. Kick the other leg back, knees together. None of this. If you need help, hold on to something. Also, think about kind of pulling your shoulders back and down. So you're staying really, really good with your posture here. Big inhale, big exhale. Figure four stretch for your hip. Release, cross it over. Sit down just as far as it takes till you feel kind of that little pinch, that little stretching feeling. And again, I like to hold onto my foot so my leg doesn't slip off here. If you need help with balance, hold on to something. And come on up, shake it out, hamstring. Bring that same foot in front, heel down, toe up. Push your butt back, keeping your chest up, holding on to something if you need it. If not, you've got your hands up here on your hips and you're not pushing down on your knees. Release toe to the ground and then bring that foot to the back. So if you don't have anything to hold on to for the calf stretch, same thing applies. You can put your hand way up here on your thigh, just make sure you're not pushing on the knee. But I like to do the stretch, pushing against something because you'll get a much better calf stretch that way. Back leg straight, push the heel to the floor, lean forward. And release, come on up. Take your arms back, your palms are forward. Reach, 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 reach. When you can't get any further, stop. Turn your palms to the back and then keep going until you can clasp. And then push your arms straight down, opening up the front of the chest. Release, roll the shoulders back, big inhale up, exhale down, and you are all finished for this Monday. Thank you all for joining me.